Hello everybody and welcome back to The Reef Life with myself, Dutch Reefer. So first of all, apologies for uploading this video a day late. Uh, yesterday flew by and in the end I didn't have enough time to make a video. Um, and I also received my uh, my Triton ICP results yesterday which I wanted to, uh, to interpret first before uh, talking about them. Um, so now that I've done that uh, I thought let's uh, do the video anyway it's uh, one day later but uh, uh, yeah well sometimes that's how it goes um, so let's uh, first start off by the by discussing the uh, the ICP uh, results um, so I was quite surprised actually um, because well when you send in a water sample uh, you can already expect a little bit uh, or predict what's uh, what's going to uh, to come out of it since I'm measuring my water uh, parameters myself as well uh, but it was actually uh, quite a surprising result and actually one that uh, one of the viewers of my videos already predicted and that's um, that it wasn't my calcium values or actually it was in the end um, but uh, Apparently the reading on the HANA checker was uh, was incorrect, so either I've been uh, doing the test wrong, uh, or it has been giving inconsistent results. Either way, it turned out that my calcium was actually too low, uh, and that's of course mainly caused by the fact that I thought it was too high, so I stopped dosing calcium, uh, which then in, in return only uh, worsened the problem for my SPS. So while I thought that the results were actually uh, that the calcium were too high so I stopped dosing it in order to ring it down that only accelerated the uh, the tissue necrosis the uh, uh, RTN or STN it's not very rapid so I think it's called STN um, uh, of the uh, the SPS corals in my tank uh, so uh, yeah that's actually um, something that I misjudged and uh, well in return uh, some of my corals uh, died I'll, I'm going to show you in a minute um, but yeah that's uh, a bummer on the other hand I'm glad that the ICP result that I did it first of all and that the result was that there's uh, actually a very concrete uh, problem actually that was kind of the only problem so otherwise my parameters are uh, in check uh, magnesium is a little on the low side as well as alkalinity but that's not a big issue since that's uh, easily to easily fixed um, and other than that some of the uh, more uh, uh, fluid or uh, uh, more uh, faster depleting uh, minerals like strontium, vanadium, bor boron they were all a bit on the low side but that's usually the case when you do these tests they uh, these even if you add those manually or automatically they uh, disappear pretty quickly into the water column um, so a bit of iodine that's what I can dose more then again it's also in the uh, the aqua forest uh, ABC plus mix so actually it's more the case that I just need to up my dosing and of course uh, do some uh, repair work on my calcium which I've already been doing uh, since uh, yesterday when I received the results so slowly we should see the tank uh, recover on the other hand uh, it's not that uh, that bad I mean some of the SPS died and I can see in some other corals that they're not having a good time uh, but then again the, as you can see the LPS are still uh, 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 kicking alive and kicking the Zoantas are still doing fine um, the soft corals as well so uh, it's you know it's just a bummer that some of the new pieces that I acquired, some SPS corals, mainly, mainly Acropora and uh, Milapora, that they uh, they vanished. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's life. That's something we live and learn. Uh, next time, maybe I'll do an ICP test a little bit earlier in order to uh, prevent uh, the problem from worsening. But then again, I was uh, uh, yeah, I was uh, guided in the wrong direction because my uh, ICP uh, results are very different from my uh, actually uh, the, the, the measures that I did myself or the values that I measured myself with the HANA checker. So I'll uh, double check next weekend and do a, uh, a drip test as well to see what uh, what's causing the issue. 
and now I know at least that uh, that I need to up my calcium uh, to get the tank back into normal shape. Um, so yeah, quick view um, around the corals that uh, that uh, that died. Unfortunately, as you can see right here, this used to be a uh, a frog skin acropora. Well, as you can see, the the all, most of the tissue has disappeared, and there's not much I can do uh, to save this uh, coral uh, right now. Uh, already some uh, little water bubbles uh, or, or air bubbles, sorry, uh, attached to it. And um, same goes for this uh, Milipora, as you can see, it slowly started dying on the tip and then it, uh, well, it went all the way to the base of the coral and it's basically uh, beyond saving. Same goes for this small piece of Acropora. This one might still pull through a little bit. And uh, yeah, those two in the back are still doing okay. So I expect uh, this one to uh, stay fully alive since I've, I've had this for a long time and it hasn't uh, shown any signs of uh, decline. And this one as well, I hope that it will uh, pull through um, and uh, well stay, uh, stay alive. As you can see, uh, things are not looking uh, good for those, uh, those uh, Acropora right, uh, right here. So other than that, uh, I think the uh, the other corals are uh, doing uh, pretty okay. As you can see the zoanthus or these uh, or this LPS is actually colored pretty spectacularly, uh, so not bothered at all by the lack of uh, calcium. Or maybe uh, because I've been upping my calcium dosage since yesterday, they're actually a bit more fluffy than they were uh, before uh, because they can appreciate the uh, the added calcium as well uh, but as you can see LPS are a lot hardier than SPS and they show barely any signs of, uh, of decline um, maybe this Cycloceris uh, which has been looking a little bit down uh, last since last week I hope that this will recover uh, as well uh, but it's uh, yeah it's uh, still intact at this time so let's hope that it will stay that way this turbinaria, for example, has also had a big uh, hit, so I'm really doubting. It looks better than it did yesterday, but it's still uh, one I need to uh, monitor to see if it will pull through. Uh, and all the other, uh, the Ricordea and the LPS are doing uh, are doing fine. As you can see, uh, they're still extending. Uh, still, uh, uh, color-wise, they look. Uh, they still look beautiful, luckily, uh, so no issues there. Um, I did find the uh, the uh, the copper band nipping now and then on the uh, the trachyphilia right here. So this little bugger has kind of developed a taste for them, not really devouring them, but occasionally just giving them a little snap with the beak. Uh, but so far they don't seem too troubled by it. Luckily there are four of them. So as long as the uh, the copper band uh, uh, doesn't take uh, everything out on the same one all the all of the time, I'm sure that it will uh, that will be fine. That it will pull through. Um and that uh yeah, that that the tank will continue to uh to develop uh over time. Um well, as you can see, the colors on the soft corals and the LPS are still uh, pretty spectacular. Uh, well, on most of the corals. Another Acropora that's been doing okay, even due to the calcium deficiency, is this one. It's a stag uh, coral, which uh, has also been in my tank for quite a while. I think it's adapted to a little bit richer nutrients or uh, or uh, element uh, deficit. deficit. Uh, and this uh, Anacropora is a bit off color, but also still healthy. Uh, healthy tissue, so I'm uh, quite convinced that it will pull through as well. Um, one of the corals that didn't pull through is this Montipora, that's uh, what's right here. As you can see it's turned completely white and there's maybe a little bit of hope left for this piece here at the front, which was a green Montipora, uh, but the one at the bottom, it still looks green, but it's covered in algae, so that's uh, not, not looking good. This top part may survive. It may not. There's still some polyps on there, 
so let's see if it pulls through and uh, yeah that's uh, a bit of a, a long shot but uh, let's see what it uh, what it does and uh, if it will pull through this sespitularia is still doing amazingly as I've shown you last week but it was under blues so I think it's a little bit more beautiful under uh, natural daylight colors and as you can see it's uh, pretty wavy and uh, yeah quite a majestic coral uh, and it looks uh, really uh, really nice from a distance as well uh, as it covers the uh, uh, quite a significant part uh, of the tank uh, if you look at it like uh, like this apologies um, so yeah all in all I think that the uh, I'm very glad that I've, I found the problem that caused my uh, SPS to uh, to wither of course it's not nice but at least uh, I'm glad that I uh, got the, uh, the the root cause and now it's up to me to uh, restore the balance in the tank to get everything uh, back in check and uh, yeah that's it for now uh, again apologies for being a day late uh, next time I'll try to uh, be uh, uh, on uh, I'll try to release my video on Sunday again so no worries there and uh, yeah for now have a nice week and uh, I'll see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already um, that will uh, help me uh, grow the channel uh, so for now bye bye